Hi, I'm Lori. I'm the nurse manager. Welcome to HSHS St. Nicholas Hospital Women and Infants Unit. Let's go on a tour. When you first arrive at St. Nicholas Hospital, you're going to come to the regular patient parking lot and come through those admission doors. They'll greet you at the registration desk. The front desk is going to give us a call upon your arrival, and then they're going to send you up to the unit. One of our nurses will be here to greet you. If you arrive after hours, you'll enter through the emergency room entrance. So we have one of our labor rooms all ready for you. It's all set to go. We're going to take you into the room, and then we will put you on the fetal monitor. That's two belts that we put on your belly. One is to tell us about your contractions, and the other is to tell us how the baby's heart rate is. We'll see that in the room. You can see the paper that's coming out of the machine, but we also have central monitoring that allows us to monitor at computers out at the desk. So we can always see what is happening with you and your contractions and the baby's heart rate, even when we're not in the room. The information that we're gathering from you is telling us things about your prenatal care. Anything that we need to know that's going to affect you and your labor and possibly the baby. So that nurse that greets you when you first come here is going to be your labor nurse. Your labor nurse is highly trained in helping you manage and navigate through your labor and she's got lots of tips and tricks and tools that she uses to help you stay as comfortable as possible during your labor and your delivery. One of them is nitrous oxide and that's a gas that she actually has you breathing in. You control it completely with your contractions so you put the mask over, you breathe while you're having contraction and then you stop and you keep repeating that with your contractions. Secondly, they can give you some IV sedation just to kind of help you over the bump of it. A lot of times they'll use that in later labor. And thirdly, they um, could get an epidural for you. And that's a medication that they give you in your spinal column area that the anesthesiologist injects. First of all, we have a peanut ball. We also have a birthing ball and we also have what we call a cub. Once it's time for delivery, your labor nurse is going to call in a second nurse and that's the delivery nurse. The delivery nurse is gonna be here for the baby. So we'll have two nurses in the room at that time and then the physician is gonna come join us. So that second delivery nurse is going to be there for the baby and the labor nurse will be there for you. If your physician scheduled you for a C-section, plan to arrive two hours before your scheduled C-section time. So we call this an LDRP room, that's labor, delivery, recovery, and postpartum. We will bring in a cot for your significant other. Your room has a large screen TV in it. There's a refrigerator. You have a private bathroom with your own shower. We have a blanket warmer so that we are gonna bring you nice warm blankets for you and baby. We have free Wi-Fi phone chargers in the waiting room. Rooming in means that the baby's going to stay with you in the room at all times. If there are any complications, we may need to take the baby to the newborn nursery just so that we can observe the baby more closely. If there are any complications, your pediatrician will be able to consult with the neonatologist in Green Bay at our sister hospital. They do that through Telenicu service. And Telenicu is a means of our physician here being able to communicate visually with a neonatologist up in Green Bay. And we do that through um, using a camera that the neonatologist in Green Bay is able to see what we're seeing. When your pediatrician comes to see the baby, they'll come into your room and they'll assess the baby right there with you. Mm -hmm.